Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Palmer of Sports Test, and this week I want to talk to you about considering your hydration needs. I'm not sure how many people realise, but evidence suggests that as little as 1% dehydration can affect and impact your performance by as much as 5%. There's actually evidence to suggest that um, dehydration can impact performance far beyond that, but you know, generally if we look at the lower levels, that's, that's appropriate. Well, first of all, what does a 1% dehydration level mean? Well, someone like myself that's 80 kilos, that's less than a litre of fluid loss is going to impact my performance. The thing is, sweat rates change with both exercise intensity and duration and not just the weather. So, okay, if you've got hot conditions, you might expect to sweat a lot more and therefore you might consider changing your drinking patterns. However, if you're doing an intensity session, a race... Um, a hill session, a hard session, actually that can significantly increase your sweat loss as well. So it's not just about looking at the weather conditions, it's about looking at the training you do. You can actually still sweat quite a lot in the cold, um, but in, in, during an intense session. Likewise for the triathletes out there, uh, you might not consider it, but you can actually sweat quite a lot in a swim pool session as well. So um, worth considering those sessions. What do I recommend? I recommend a very, very simple check. Ideally, before you start your training session, you would look at your weight naked. So get on the scales, no clothes on, make a note of what your um, current weight is. You go do your training session, of course, remembering to get changed first, to get dressed first, otherwise you'll get arrested, but you go and do your normal training session, and you drink normally. Um, if you are drinking, you make a note of how much you drink during a training session. You finish the training session, you remove any clothes, particularly if they're wet with sweat, you dry yourself down as best as possible, and you get back onto the scales. Any weight that you've lost is effectively at sweat loss. For each kilogram that you've lost during the training session, that's a litre of fluid that your body has lost. So 0.1 of a kilo is 100 millilitres of fluid, one kilo is a litre of fluid. So as an example, um, during a training session, if you've come back and you found that you're two kilos down on where you were before you started, that's actually a two kilo weight loss. What really we should be trying to achieve is we should be looking to try and rehydrate that somewhere between one and a quarter and one and a half times your weight loss. Really to move forward, you want to check this in different training sessions, different intensities, different durations, in different weather conditions so that you know what your sweat, le sweat rate should be for competition um, in different environments or different intensities. Hope this gives you something to work on, particularly in the middle of the summer, but again, something to think about through the winter sessions as well. I uh, look forward to hearing, you, uh, hearing from you with any comments that you might have or uh, helping you out with testing and training in the future. Thanks very much.